And we got a new wrinkle in the Bloodline story, with Solo Sokoa telling Paul Heyman that unlike Heyman, who said that uh, he, he admitted that he has not spoken to Roman Reigns since WrestleMania, so he lied when he said that Roman was pulling himself out of the draft. Well, Solo told Paul Heyman that, unlike him, he has spoken with Roman Reigns since WrestleMania. And he claims that Roman told him, until he comes back, Solo is now in charge of the bloodline. And Heyman is now his wise man. And do I believe that Solo really spoke with Roman or that that's what Roman said to him? No. And that will cause some great drama when Roman returns. Now, of course, if Solo is lying, why wouldn't Roman Reigns just pick up the phone and call Paul Heyman? Or why wouldn't Paul just call Roman, right? These are the types of things where you need to check your brain at the door. Because they don't make any sense. But these are the types of things that they have to do when Roman Reigns is not coming back for a while. I mean, we've been here before. They have to find ways to try to keep this interesting. At least they're adding new members. Adding new members is one way to keep things interesting. And speaking of new members, there was a tweet from WrestleVotes on Wednesday that according to his sources, they suggest that Solo Sokoa's recent aggressive streak is part of a strategy to establish him as the main force within this new phase of the bloodline ahead of Jacob Fatu's debut. However, some trepidation remains within creative over fear that Fatu's presence could outshine Solo at this stage. Well, there should be trepidation, because Jacob Fatu is better than Solo Sokoa in every way. And I like Solo, but tell me when I'm telling lies. I'm just spitting out facts here. Watch a Jacob Fatu match and a Solo Sokoa match and tell me that Solo is better than Fatu. Watch a Jacob Fatu promo, like one of his MLW promos, and a Solo Sokoa promo, even from NXT when he actually spoke full sentences, and tell me that Solo is a better promo than Jacob Fatu. They should be worried. That's why my suggestion was to keep them apart and debut Fatu, not with the new bloodline, but on the opposite side with Jimmy and Jay once they reunite as part of the OG bloodline until Roman Reigns comes back, and then he has to decide which side is he on. Which won't be Solo Sokoa's side, because it turns out Solo was lying the entire time about Roman putting him in charge. And then eventually Rock can come back with the new bloodline, and you've got your bloodline civil war, four on four. But if there are genuine concerns within WWE creative that, oh my god, this guy may come in and outshine him, why do you think they feel that way? Because they know what I just said. He is better than Solo Sokoa. Had he come into the company a year and a half ago, two years ago, a year ago, the role that Solo is in right now would likely belong to Jacob Fatu. So there's reason to be concerned, but there's always ways to book around it. That's up to them to put the work in and and put their brains together and put their heads together and try to figure out, okay, what's the best way to debut this guy? And I happen to think that it's not debuting him on the same side with Solo. It would be weird to look at Jacob Fatu as being subservient to Solo Soko. It would just it just feels wrong. <laughs> it just does. But I think this would be the better way to go. As far as when you debut Jacob Fatu, I don't know. Yeah, I was talking a little bit about this in the SmackDown stream on Friday. There were a lot of people, myself included, who thought that we were going to get the debut uh, at Backlash, and that didn't happen. It'll be very interesting if we get to King and Queen of the Ring in Saudi, and there's still no Jacob Fatu, and it makes me wonder if maybe he can't travel out of the country because that was always a concern. I, I thought that was always one of the holdups as far as him not being brought into WWE, other than the fact that, of, of course, he was under contract somewhere else. Uh, but maybe he can travel. You know, Maybe it's something they're working on. Maybe they can work their magic. I don't know. But you know, the more shows that go by that are outside the U.S. Uh, where you know we don't see him, it just starts to make me wonder. And that would be, it would be difficult because they run so many international shows now. But he's just such a freaking great talent that, of course, you have to bring him in. But you want to make sure you bring him in in the best possible way. 